Right, guys, uh, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Welcome to day 37 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and year two while we can't be in school. Um, uh, please, can you be sat with an adult? Please, can you have a piece of paper and a pencil ready? Uh, please, can uh, you uh, call out? I love your mistakes. And uh, please, can I say something first? Can I say, hello, kangaroos? Well done, kangaroos, if you are still watching. You are awesome. Turn to the person next to you and say, you are awesome. Okay, guys, here we go. Right, uh, we're at 60. So we're going to count, uh, let's go counting in ones from 60. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Right, okay, we're gonna count in tens now from 83. Okay, so I'm adding 10 each time. So we're starting at 83, and I'm gonna keep adding a 10 each time. 83, 93, 103, 113, 123, 133, 143, 153, 163, 173, 183, and stop there. Now I'm going to count in ones. We're in ones now. 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, 188. 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. Now, when you get to 99, normally go up, makes a new hun new pile of 100. So this time it's going to have another 100. So what's it going to be? 200. Fantastic. Okay. Good job, guys. Right. Okay. Now we've got our number square. Uh, and we're going to, I'm going to uh, select a number. Uh, and then I'm going to put a box around another number. And you've got to work out what that number could be. Okay. So you're going to need to think about going down on a number square. Uh, every time you go down a box, it go it adds ten. Well done. But if you go down two boxes, you're adding twenty. That's it. So thirty-five add twenty. What would that? What's that going to be? Turn to your partner. Yes, fifty-five. Fantastic. Okay. Right. Close your eyes just while I get this ready. <laughs> no peeping. No peeping. I'm watching. No peeping. Okay, open your eyes again. Right, we're on 67. We're going down to adding 10. Oh, adding 20. Adding 30. 67, 77, 87. What's that one going to be? Turn to your partner. Well done, 97, fantastic. Okay, close your eyes again. Open your eyes. Okay, here's 24. Uh, here's adding 10, here's adding 20, we're adding 30. 24 add 30. Turn to your partner. Yes, 54. Fantastic. Close your eyes again. Open your eyes. I saw you peeping. Right, adding 10, adding 20. 27 add 20. Yes, well done, 47. Well done if you said 47. Okay, let's go on to something else. Something else we've done before. I've got my sports car ready to go out. And I would like a really jazzy front grille. And I'm going to have... Oh, I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to have a bunny nose. Okay, bunny nose is 22p. Guys, how would you pay 22p? What coins would you use? Tell your partner. Okay, now there's an easy way. You could do 20 and 2. That's good. Well done if you thought that. 
Can you think of any other ways? How else could you do it? You could pause the video and just work out for a minute how other ways how else you could pay 22p. Okay, I'm I'm gonna make it with a 10. And then two fives to make another 10. So that's 10, 20, and then the two. There we go. Uh, well done, guys. Good job. <coughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, I've got to carry on now. Sorry. Funny. Oh, I've got to have the, <laughs> I've got to have the rear wing. Hang on, hang on. Sorry. Uh, we're not learning now. I'm just having fun. Bunny's tail. How much is Bunny's tail? Oh, 29p. How would you pay 29p, guys? Pause the video. How would you pay 29p? Okay, I'm going to do it with a 10 and a 10. And then I've done the 20 now. I need to do the 9. So I'm going to go 2, 4, 6, 8. And then I need to do one more to make 9. So there's 20. There's 9. 29p. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Okay, right. So I've got to carry on. Let's do some more learning. Right, okay. So I go to the shops. I buy... Or oh, the customer buys a Hawk jet from the Red Arrows and they pay 20p. We did this the other day. They've paid 20p. They've got to go home with 20p's worth of stuff. So they're going to get an 8p aeroplane and then some coins, some change. So they're going to go home with an aeroplane and some coins and that's all got to have a value of 20p. Okay. So we've got to think, how can we give them enough money so that they've got... 20p's worth of stuff okay so what i'm going to think is oh now eight and then eight feeling great yeah two so give them the two that gets you to 10p 8p add the two p's got you to 10p of the 20 now we've got to get all the way all the rest of the way to 20 the other 10 and then that's it that means it's 12p thank you for my change good job one more no more here we go okay a 13p spaceship Okay, they've paid 20p. That's too much. It's not fair. They can't go home with that now when it's only 13p. How are we going to make them go home with 20p's worth of stuff? We're going to give them some change. How much? Three and mm, mm, made in heaven. Three and yes, well done. Three and seven. Good job. Good job. Thank you for my change. Let's crack on with something else. Okay, now we've been talking about half. Uh, now, year ones, you need to be able to read the time to, for o'clock and half past. So we're going to have a little uh, review of half past now. So what time is it now on the clock? Okay, if my, it, it takes 30 minutes for this hand to go half the way around the clock. It's gone half the way past when it was 2 o'clock. It was 2 o'clock. But now it's gone half the way past. That amount of time is lo is like two play times, okay? Two morning breaks. It's quite a long time. It's not as long as a lunchtime break, but it's two morning breaks. It's thirty minutes, okay? You're half the way around. It was two o'clock, but it's gone halfway past that. And what's kind of kind of interesting in year twos, this is quite good for you to notice, is. Um, if you didn't have anything else, if you didn't have a minute hand, you could almost tell the time here because it's gone. This hour hand has gone half the way around past two. So it's half past two. But this minute hand shows us also it's gone half the way around. So we this tells us it pointing at the bottom says it's half past something. This says it's half past something, half the way past something. And then we look at which time um, we're in between. So we're in between the two and the three. It never goes backwards. So it's it's not going to be half past three. It's going to be half past two. That one's half past two. Let me just make another one quickly. OK, what time is that? Yeah, four o'clock. I might just get the digital clock up a minute. That's four o'clock. OK, we have 30 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes go by. Two break times. Some teacher decides to let you have two play times. Woohoo! Go with that teacher. We're half the way around. And again, look, a uh, thing for year two to note. Look, you almost don't need the minute hand down here. It's all, you can almost tell. Although it looks like it's gone a bit further than that, doesn't it really? But 
It's halfway between the four and the five. It was four o'clock. It's gone halfway around. It's half past four. And year, year two's just notice half past four is 4.30. Okay. Now, yesterday we looked at um, fractions. Um, yesterday we were looking at fractions and we were looking at halves and quarters. And something came up that I wanted to talk about. Okay. Here we go. Oops. That was half. If I just draw a squiggle a minute, bear with me while I get my squiggle stuff together. If I that's if I cut it in half and that's one part of a shape that was cut into two, both parts the same size. My turn. One part of a shape that was cut into two. All parts the same size. Your turn. One part of a shape that was cut into two. All parts the same size. We also did something else. We also did cutting it into four. Do you remember what that would be called? One part of a shape that was cut into four. All parts the same size. One part of a shape that was cut into four. Cut into four. All parts the same size. Does it matter which of those quarters I'd coloured in? No, no, it doesn't because they're all the same. Well done, guys. I'm just hopefully that one. There we go. So I could colour in that one instead. Here's a tricky thing that came up when we were playing the fire pit fractions game yesterday. What's that? That's a quarter and that's a quarter. How many quarters have we got? Yeah, this is called two quarters. Two parts of a shape that was cut into four, all parts the same size. Two parts of a shape that was cut into four. Now this also, year twos, year ones, you don't need to know this. Year twos, what else do you know about two quarters? It's the same as a half, yeah. You could, and let me, I can't move it over. Uh, that'd be a shame. It'd be good if I could. If I'd coloured there instead, that's still two quarters and that's still a half. Even though it's been cut into four, both of those things have the same meaning. You can still say that this is a half, even though it was cut into four. So when we play um, um, Fire Pit Fractions now, when we see that, We'll have a chat. Let's have a look. So let's play fire pit fractions. Let's play the year one level. So we're going to have... Oh, yummy. We're going to have some crumpets. I had a crumpet this morning, actually. Very nice. Uh, right, so two parts of a shape. That was cut into two. All parts the same size. So now that's not cut into two. That's cut into four. And there's three of them coloured in. That is cut into two, so it could be that one. That's cut into three, so it's definitely not that one. So I can forget about that one, and I can forget about that one. So this is a maybe. This is cut into two, so this is a maybe. Right, so these two. It's two parts of a shape that was cut. Yeah, this one. Well done, guys. Good job. Okay. Oh, sausage. Yummy. Okay. One part of a shape that was cut into two. All parts the same size. How many is that one cut into? That one's cut into three, so it's not that one. How many is that one cut into? I don't know if I can speak. How many is that one cut into? That's cut into four. Hmm, not sure about that one. That's cut into five. Definitely not that one. Ignore that one. Ignore that one. That's cut into two, so it could be this one, or it could be this one. So it's one of these. Okay, that's two parts of a shape that was cut into two. The whole thing, that's a whole one that is, isn't it? So it's not that one. Well, how can it be this one? It can't be this one, this is cut into four. That's two parts of a shape that was cut into four, isn't it? It's like that. Two parts of a shape that was cut into four. Hello, what do we notice? 
what do we notice? It's the same, isn't it? Two parts of a shape that was cut into four is the same as one part of a shape that was cut into two. Two quarters is the same as a half. It's more complicated to explain than it is to just look at and know, isn't it? You can just look at it and go, oh, I know that, Mr. Barrett. Be quiet. Okay, half. One part of a shape that was cut into two. Hmm, well, it's definitely not that one because that's five. Cut into five. I don't think it's that one because that's cut into four. So probably not that one. That one's cut into two. That one's cut into two. This one's got two, the whole one shaded in, so it's not that one. So it's got to be this one. One part of a shape is shaded, and it was cut into two. Lovely. Okay. One more, no more. One more, no more. Okay. Okay, now this is half again. Get some easy We had our hard ones yesterday. We've got easy ones today. Oh, dear. Right, half. Which one's half? You point for me. Yes, yeah, that one. One more. We'll do. Did I say one more before? <laughs> we'll do another one now. Sausage. Yummy. Let me get the onions out. What? Half again? Oh dear. Gosh. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. We want a hard one. Come on. Let's have finishes off with the hard one. Sausage. Yummy. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Four parts of a shape. That was cut into four. All parts the same size. Now that's not cut into four. That is cut into four. That is cut into four. That is cut into four. Oh, hello. This is going to be really hard, this one. That's got four parts of a shape. That was cut into four. All parts the same size. But that one has two. Even though it wasn't cut into four, they're both the same value. So I could click on either of those and either of them would be right. So, because they're both a whole one. Four quarters, four, four, four quarters, four parts of a shape that was cut into four. You never, no one ever writes that hardly because they just write one instead. There's a whole sausage, a whole sausage. Let's go. Okay, guys, right, brilliant. So. Uh, your treat today is you get your reward. You get magnetic boots. Now, I don't know if you know, uh, certainly I did. I used to walk around a lot when I was little with my head down uh, looking, and I used to find money everywhere. And I was always finding coins. So uh, you don't need to do that anymore because you've got magnetic boots. And as you're walking through town, um, you'll, you'll hear a clink, and you'll get home, and you'll take your boots off, and you look at the bottom, and they'll be covered in pound coins. You'll be rich. Okay, fantastic. Have a super um, day, guys, um, and see you next time.